my channel space remote sensing and gis so today we will come with a very exciting uh, <coughs> lecture that is basically on multi looking sar data processing and <coughs> we will going to discuss um, in the both process in uh, nv sarscape and uh, most beautiful thing in arcgis pro you have that options for the multi looking sar data processing so <coughs> the the general uh, multi looking sar and the two process i will just going to show you in the both software so that you can uh, feel comfortable whatever uh, the softwares you go okay you can go but for that you have to understand the basics understanding about this uh, multi looking sar so why we are doing the multi looking sar data process okay so basically if you see i will just generate it one uh, simple pdf for you so that you can understand see uh, not pdf is just uh, uh, informations which i showed you in the ppt so you see that sar images can affected by the noise okay so for the artificially um, especially uh, the area which having the the low radar reflectivity or the complex thin terrain okay so multi looking process which is actually involving your uh, the averaging this uh, multiple sar you can say the measurements okay that looks which is taken to the slightly different angles and positions so uh, the averaging which is actually helping you to reduce the noise okay to improve the signal and uh, to the noise ratio in the final images okay so so some benefits if you see i just mentioned some benefits for this also like multi looks are data processing can actually the results of the images uh, for the better clarity sharper features and reducing the noise okay so another very important thing is it is actually uh, helping you to creating the square pixels okay so that is the main importance of this multi looking sar data okay so it is actually enhancing the interpretation capabilities it is improving the multi looking sar to make it easy analysis to the interpreting the data and extract the meaningful information from the earth surface okay <clears throat> so in summary we can say multi looking sar data is actually required to enhance the quality of the sar images and reducing the noise to improve the overall clarity in the final surface okay but uh, uh, if you focused uh, in the summary okay so where we are actually using this okay so if you see the average input of the synthetic aperture radar data by look angles and the azimuth approximate square pixels we, which is actually going to create okay so uh, it is mitigating the uh, despeckling and it is actually reducing the uh, sar tools for the processing so uh, in in arcgis pro you will get Uh, the good tool which is giving you the estimate also what is the size of the uh, square pixels okay so <clears throat> that uh, estimations will come which is i feel a good in arcgis pro which uh, uh, in uh, nv you have to give a certain azimuth and uh, that uh, range okay but uh, the estimate maybe you will not get there that is the only differences okay the tool which can used uh, to mitigate the displaying reducing the sar and processing times okay Uh, when it is <coughs> mitigating the displaying, so obviously uh, your processing time will go fast. Okay, so that is what we are actually using this type of tool for the multi-looking. Now I'll go for the demonstrations in the both of these. Okay, so if you see here, uh, in this case we are having <laughs> one uh, TSX uh, data. Okay. so using this particular uh, data i can go for some processing techniques okay so i will show you okay so you require the nv sarske for <coughs> doing this type of processing otherwise you may not able to uh, process it okay. so so you required an nv and sarske license to process this okay so if you see here if in under the basics we have the multi look sar data processing tools okay so you can simply click on that tool okay and then simply come over here <coughs> okay so i have one a uh, image which i will going to open so i will change this and i will going to select this uh, tiff file for this input is slc product okay <clears throat> for this so now the time domain and this is the range looks which you can fix accordingly okay so i will give it here 4 and 4 okay for this particular analysis you can see there is no estimated <clears throat> value which is showing it here okay but uh, this is uh, the range look and azimuth look for the square pixels you can fix it here okay and then you can simply run but uh, the were you want okay so let's run and see the results okay so you will get uh, the multi looks as output okay so let's wait for the result. 
and see this is the output came after uh, process the multi looking um, SAR data sets okay so now the same process which will going to run over the ArcGIS Pro if see here but in ArcGIS Pro <laughs> the thing is it is run over the GRD products as of now okay so if you see here this is the uh, I mean the files which I open for the Sentinel okay so and uh, if you want to process it so two things you required like you require the the image analysis and uh, sorry you require the image extension so under that you have the center capture radar options okay so this is the new tool which is added in your 3.2 okay if you are go below 3.2 version so you will not get this multi look options over there so now <laughs> if i click over this multi look if you see here you need to give uh, here the w okay so you either you can go with the vv and weight exploration the same options we will get there also in nv okay so this is the range look estimates it is giving you over here okay so you can go accordingly whatever pixel spacing you want suppose if i give it here for 4, four uh, you can go for like this okay so this is you see 4 by 4 is creating the square pixels for that okay so now uh, if you just uh, click over the run and let's wait for the results so that you can understand uh, the uh, how uh, yes now the results came you see here it's creating a smoothening over the image okay so how it is coming okay so now how nicely it is uh, created uh, the uh, this particular multi look over your uh, image so uh, that's all because uh, multi look is an important process because if you have the square pixels then only it is useful for a lot of uh, calculations uh, in a further process okay so that's why uh, this is the process uh, of uh, doing <clears throat> the, the multi looking SAR data processing okay over uh, in a two different platform which i just showed you one is over your uh, np sarscape or if you want you can go for arcgis pro with image analysis extensions you can do the multi looking or else you can go with the nv if you have the sarscape extensions okay so thank you <coughs> for uh, this particular lecture so i hope it will be useful for many people who are actually uh, using the sar data for their analysis thank you all so if you like my uh, the video so please uh, give your uh, comments and share this video to others give likes okay thank you thank you very much